There's always a video that comes every once in a while that can actually make society take a step backwards. If you don't know what I'm talking about, let me explain. Everybody likes the notebook. Uh, no. No. First of all, it's not even a question. Okay, so that wasn't a question. Uh, no, that's not a fact. That's an opinion. You fucking idiot. Um, I am aware of the info box where you state hashtag not all men, but definitely some of you. I believe uh, you break with this um, notion in this short, um, well, it's not a question, it's a statement. In the statement, and you are wrong with this statement because you phrase it like an absolute. Everybody, that would include me, likes the notebook, it's just a fact. No, it's not. I haven't seen the notebook, so I cannot say anything about it if I like it or not. What the fuck is the notebook? Uh, I don't know what the notebook is. I don't even know what that means. Everybody likes a notebook. I've never even seen it, nor knew about its existence. What's the notebook? Is that a rom-com? If it is, I probably ain't gonna like it, including to that previous girl over there that said men don't like rom-coms. The notebook couldn't remember anything about it to save my life. The notebook. I don't remember if I have seen that one. Now I've never watched the fucking notebook. Simon, did we watch a notebook? No. I've never seen the notebook. I have never seen the notebook. I've never seen the notebook. I've actually never fucking seen the notebook. Sorry. I have not seen the notebook. I personally have never seen the notebook, so I can't judge it. I've never seen the notebook. So I wouldn't know. I've never seen the notebook, but I guarantee you I wouldn't like it. I've never actually seen the notebook, so I can't say on that. But I feel like it would be bad. It's pretty bad. I, I feel like it would be like that. I feel like it's a film that I wouldn't enjoy, and I'm not going to go watch it. I have never seen the notebook, and based upon the fact that you're interested in this, I am automatically starting to have a few questions about it. I haven't seen the notebook, but I can tell you now, since you recommended it and said it was wonderful, I'll never fucking watch it. If it came from someone that's such a fucking cancerous parasite as you and the other fucking harpies on this goddamn video, I don't give a fuck if it gives me eternal life after I watch it. I'm never going to watch it now. I don't like the notebook. Not only that, but I haven't seen it. I see it. I'm never going to watch it. I didn't care for the notebook and the notebook sucked. I don't. I don't like the notebook at all. Let me tell you something about the notebook there. Keanu Reeves. Amazing fucking actor, dude. Best actor ever. One of my favorites. Only movie that I don't like that has him in it that I can think of. I know somebody could probably say, oh, what about this one? But no, that's the only one that I won't watch with him in it. It's like Speed, because Sandra Bullock's in it too, but without the bus. Oh shit, I got that mixed up. That's a different movie. Uh, oh, it's that dude that's in that. Oh, yeah, Keanu Reeves is better, but I still wouldn't watch Jolly Calls. So, what was the question again? To my girlfriend at the time, I was like, so, when does Brittany Murphy come into this? Because I'm not seeing it. The Notebook, I've seen it. Yeah, I fucking love The Notebook. It's It's great. Like, 
I watched The Notebook, I like The Notebook, that's, you know, whatever. Like, it's not typically my cup of tea, but I'll fucking watch it if it's good, you know? Like, I, I, I like The Notebook. I thought it was alright, there are parts of it that I really liked, but I know that not all women like The Notebook. I carried my then-girlfriend to the cinema to see it. And to be honest, I was more interested in the movie than she was. I thought it was decent, I, I thought it was a very loving movie. But I liked The Notebook, it was a good movie. It made me cry a little bit. I'm, end. I'm sure people in third world countries don't have internet have loved the notebook. Yeah, I'm sure they've I'm seen sure, it. Yeah, and they everyone loved it. I like the notebook. I have torrented it and I still have it. I don't want to delete it. I might watch it someday again. The notebook I saw when I was really young. Um, I guess I liked it. It was okay. Sure. Question mark. No one likes the notebook. I like the notebook. No, you don't. Okay. You know, I actually didn't mind The Notebook, but there was a lot of stereotypically feminine excess in that movie. Apparently, I'm not the only one who feels that way either. I mean, look at Rotten Tomatoes. If you got a Rotten Tomatoes. I hate romantic comedies because they're usually starring people with no talent, like Anne Hathaway. Is that why The Notebook got such shit ratings on Rotten Tomatoes? You know, three hour romantic. Really? Three hours? Yeah, it's a chick flick. That, that's it. It literally has 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. The Notebook got a 52% on Rotten Tomatoes, so no, you're an idiot. Even the audience scores are only 85%, which is 15% shy of everybody. That's not a good rating. In fact, the highest ranked romantic comedy according to Rotten Tomatoes is the 1940 movie The Philadelphia Story, starring Cary Grant and Katherine Hepburn. Never heard of it? That's because you're an uncultured retard. Movies have been lacking in the emotional department since Stanley Kubrick died. The Notebook is a terrible movie. It's well shot. Uh, it's not something that I like. Okay, one. My girlfriend could attest to this. I think that's the word. No, I've never seen The Notebook, but I'm about 99% sure that I would revile it. I believe The Notebook's not even a wrong comment. Okay, first of all, The Notebook is a well shot movie with a fantastic ending, but everything about else about that movie sucks. When I analyzed the plot, I would understand why a lot of men like The Notebook. I mean, think about it for a second. The Notebook is about the story of a young man who builds a house for a woman that he hadn't seen in years, and then she comes back, has sex with him, and then she leaves this wealthy man for him because she genuinely likes him as a person. It doesn't sound like the story that a woman would like. That sounds like the fantasy of a man. A woman actually giving a shit about you and the hard work you put in because you loved her so much? I don't know, I'm just saying. I don't really see why women like it so much. Great ending. Terrible movie. The Notebook was mediocre at best. The Notebook is too clumsily manipulative to rise above its melodramatic cliches. It's a tragic romantic story, I think. <laughs> It's like reading Twilight or something. I don't know. It's just not a good experience on my brain. It was the sixth sense of those movies. When my mate had a fucking DVD store down in Oatley, in Sydney, there were a lot of girls that came back and said the notebook was shit. Now, since the notebook's a fucking rom-com and I've never fucking seen it, I'll take their fucking advice from it and just assume it's shit. No, I don't like the notebook. There are lots of people who don't like the notebook. See, the thing is, you seem to be operating under the assumption that I, as a male, dislike the concept of romance in movies. That is incorrect. I don't care for it personally, mainly because I don't really care for, you know, the idea of romance to begin with. But I don't mind it. I wouldn't outright object to someone putting romance in movies. There are certain, like, there's something like Undertale, you know, the game Undertale, where it had a lesbian romance which they didn't highlight or treat like it was any big deal but like when I was watching them and watching them get together I was thinking oh how cute like they, those two make a great couple so fuck you for your gross assumptions I don't like it I think it's a dumb sappy movie not not my favorite I think the notebook's okay the only problem I have with it is when Ryan Gosling's character threatens to kill himself if the girl doesn't go out with him which I'm pretty sure is illegal <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.